In Haiti, childbirth is a time of fear. One in every ten pregnancies ends in death. Hospitals in Haiti do not provide food or change bed linens. The facilities are poor and the cost beyond the means of most. Most babies are delivered at home. Almost everyone has witnessed a death during childbirth. Maison de naissance is the place of safety for birthing mothers. Much of the equipment discarded by American hospitals is donated and salvaged for use at Maison de naissance. Money to ship supplies, buy fuel for the generator, and pay salaries for staffing come from financial contributions. For some, their Maison de Naissance identification card is the only photo they have of themselves. Mothers receive nutrition and childcare education. We stay at the guest house on the southwest coast of Haiti. Our accommodations are sparse by some standards, but the hospitality is warm and genuine. First of all, it's just, it's so poor. When you get out and you see the little huts and uh, little dirt trails of the streets, it's beyond anything that you can imagine in the United States. There's a freshness to it. The people seem very, um, almost innocent. Uh, it's, it's not any kind of a uh, scary or threatening poverty. It's just a very genuine poverty. Uh, where you just want to, you know, reach out and help someone if you can. We do medical clinics in remote villages. Everyone turns out in their best clothing. Everybody is very grateful for us being here and very welcoming. I really think that they want us to be here and they want us to come back and they appreciate what we do and they probably taught us more than we've taught them. For the community, Maison de Naissance provides regular medical home visits. <coughs> Data is gathered on every household in the area and basic health care provided. We visit hospitals and clinics. We help when we can. In Haiti, Patients who cannot pay are escorted to the gate and sent away. In Lakai, we came across a woman who had been sent out of the delivery ward. Kind of, we both looked over at this woman that was squatting on the ground, um, and her baby had come out. We're in the delivery room of the Immaculate Conception Hospital, okay. where moments ago, <laughs> mother delivered the baby in the parking lot with the assistance of Suji Stadler. And in appreciation, the mother is naming this baby Suzanne. That evening, a woman needed a C-section. The surgeon charges 30 Haitian dollars, eight dollars American. That's 10 percent of a family's annual income. Two of our group were allowed to watch if they agreed to take care of the baby. They jumped at the chance. There is no oxygen, no suction, not even towels. Somebody grabbed supplies we had in the truck. The baby was in serious trouble. I wondered what would have happened if we weren't here. This is Miss Maculasano. 
very special baby. First baby born at Maison de Naissance. Within four months, Maison de Naissance marked the first 100 births. Mothers and families returned with their babies for a celebration. I've never been anywhere where I felt like there was more need and more opportunity for change. These people here have no way to, to make it any better for themselves. If, if we don't help them, there's no one to help them, and they can't help themselves because what they need isn't here. It's an amazing start. It's, it's a miracle. It's a, it's a total blessing for everybody here, and it's what we need more of. It's not a glamorous place, um, but there's a lot of hope. There's a lot you can do.